Hello YouTube world. This is Bluegrass Pickers and uh, my eBay store is Thrift in Order, all one word, if you want to look up my eBay store. But I go to Goodwill, go to garage sales and some other thrift stores and try to get good sales and sell them in, if they're kind of heavy, sell them in my antique booths. Um, I try to get collectibles and antiques, um, anything vintage, especially mid-modern right now. Uh, farmhouse stuff is real popular with roosters and chickens. Um, but uh, this weekend I went to some garage sales. And as you can see behind me, I got this painting. And I'm a paint guy. I, I like to paint. And I just could see the thick paint on there. And I just knew it was somebody that's a master. And they are. Whoever it is, this is good. And just the frame alone was nice. Nice stretch painting said five bucks on it. I didn't haggle it down. I'm like, that's beautiful. She said it was Chicago, Illinois too. And I noticed that, uh, pretty sure that's, that's the famous building there. Um, but five bucks? I could re, just use the frame. Anyway. And then she had this Elvis. It says 10 bucks. And I kept walking by it, looking at it. And she finally goes, I'll give it to you for five. I'm like, shoot, why do you say that? So of course I got it. And then um, she had this PS2. It says $15. And I was, I was going to talk her down, but I had these memory cards. I think there's two of them here. I don't, I don't know what this is. But I, I can probably part this out and get some pretty good money. And I had a controller. It only had one controller, which I was kind of surprised about. Almost everybody has two. But it had a remote control, and I haven't seen that yet. It'll help me test stuff. This might be my good tester, because I have like four of them. This isn't a Slim. Slims go, they go a little bit better. But this barely looks used. And she had, I thought it was only two games. It was actually four games. But Medal of Honor, Tiger Woods 07, Tiger Woods 05, which they're not worth anything. Lord of the Rings. I haven't looked that up. That might be worth a little something. But... So I didn't really talk her down. Um, like 15, I was like, okay, 15, 25 for all of that. I'm going to keep this. But I, I bet I could sell this for I bet I could, 60. I bet I could put it in my eBay's, my uh, antique booth. I mean, it's... Went to another garage sale, and this guy had this set in there. And I'm always attracted to anything that's got some, you know, someone autographed. Most of the time people don't know what it is. And this is another. It says Herman U. Rock. And it has initial autograph. And it says Open Fire, I think. Um, then it has pins all over it. Deluxe, Castro, NHRA, Dallas, Texas. Yellow flag. Uh, volunteer. Heart, like a volunteer thing. McDonald's pin. Iowa Hawkeyes pin. USA Today. Another McDonald's pin. I know Disney pins go for a lot of money, so I figured with all the pins that are on here, it's got to be 12. And there's another Herman you kick ass, another autograph. So whoever this was, maybe they wore it in like a band or something. I don't know. Uh, but it says five bucks. And he goes, because I, I looked at it a couple of times, he goes, I'll give it to you for three. I'm like, okay, I know I can get three bucks for a couple pins. This was neat. Um, it said 50 cents on it, so I just picked it. It's one of those I just pick up and then just keep going looking around. Because sometimes you just know you probably want it. It's best just to pick it up and keep going. I learned that from Goodwill. I don't even, I don't sit and look at it, you know, especially the stuff that just came out. And I've never even seen this one. Oh, I'm old. There's an eject button. It said cassette recorder, so I thought maybe it was like two cassettes, one recorded on the other. It was like one of the first models, but it's not. It's actually got a microphone, but this looks like a CB on and off. It's General Electric. You plug it in over here and record it onto a tape. So this, is, this was very groundbreaking technology at one time. And it's really in good shape. I looked at the, um, the back the batteries and it's a little corroded, but I doubt anybody wants to buy it to use it. It's just kind of neat um, how it all works. 
four, F four. Anyway, it says 50 cents. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. I know I can sell that in the antique booth for at least 12 to 15. Um, these, these were Winnie the Pooh. These were Disney, um, like, uh, what do you call it, comics. Which I didn't even know there was such a thing. Back from the, she said 70s, I don't know. They look pretty old. Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse and Goofy. Um, I think she had some Marvel stuff. It's John Carter, Warlord, and City of the Dead. She said this is the guy that, or he said, this is the guy that wrote uh, Conan, the uh, uh, Conan the Barbarian, the same writer. I don't know. These were two. These were eighty cents a piece. Uh, devil dinosaur. Another devil dinosaur. This is 1978. Um, and then she had these Star Wars. Um, I didn't know Marvel did Star Wars. It's weird. It has like Chewy beaten up Luke. Here. Uh, Anyway, these are 70s too, 1978, I think, um, right after the movie came out. But she had two bucks a piece on them, so it was like four, it was ten bucks for all these comics. I figured I could put them in my antique booth. I looked them up, <clears throat> none of them were really worth much money. But I bet I could put them in my antique booth and get decent money for it, more than what they charge. And these. This is the Goodwill stuff I got. This is one of those, they, they bring ours out in racks, rolling racks, and then the employees take them to the different spots, the electronics, the clothes, and this and that. Well, I, I could see these from a distance, and I just kind of almost started sprinting toward them, but I could see the greenish, aqua, bluish, carnival-looking uh, candlestick holders. And I just went and grabbed, there's one of those I just grabbed. And I grabbed that, I grabbed this, and something else here I can't grab all together real fast because I knew I'd probably keep them. But these candlesticks were a dollar a piece. And they look like that carnival glass because it kind of has like that rainbow look to it. If you know what that is. I had a friend come over today, yesterday, and she's already like, uh, I want to buy those. <laughs> so I went and actually comped them on eBay. I can't find anything like it. And stuff that's even close to it's like, listed for 80 something bucks so when i do have something like that i just don't worry about selling them i put two bucks into it so i'll just keep comping and keep looking around to see where it sells and maybe i just have some i don't want to sell something that's too unique and sell it for nothing someone resells it and i've seen somewhere where these glass insulators sell for decent money so i figure i just put my antique booth because it's heavy i don't want to ship it but two bucks i mean hemingway Made in USA. Uh, it's got a little chip here, but I think it. I think it'll still. I think it'll still sell pretty good. I bet I can put. I bet I put fifteen. Anyway, I saw that on another video, but who knows? I broke so many of these things. I lived by the train tracks, <laughs> Santa Fe Road, right through Marceline, Missouri. Well, uh, boy, hit home Walt Disney, and um, uh, they had all the train tracks. We'd go out there and smoke our cigarettes, try to get away from the parents. And we'd throw rocks up and hit them. We were so good at it. And now I'm thinking about how many we busted. And like just laying on the ground. Boys. And then farmhouse stuff just goes so well. This is another thing I grabbed all at once. It was two bucks. I've never seen it. It's kind of neat, you know. A little coffee mug and then keep it warm. And it's another rooster on top. And it was two bucks. And I thought it was like it had a tag still on it, but it was actually a present tag. It says Tibitsy from Kitty. She must not like her present very much. So two bucks, I guarantee I could sell that for 12 to 15. But um, these are some things I picked up. Had a good week of selling stuff. I'll have another what sold video that, that'll be coming out. I'll probably make it here in a minute and then render it up. And because and, um, I've had quite a few things sell, a lot of things I forgot to put in the videos, but I have duplicates, so I kind of show what it was, but um, um, I'm also, my um, antique mall is running a, a, a deal where 
for 50 bucks, we can set up an eight by four table and they're gonna have three days of an indoor garage sale. And they advertise it really well. It's the biggest um, antique mall in Missouri and they, they do a good job of marketing themselves. And so I'm gonna do it to get rid of some of my stuff that I know I can make money on, but once you know what you're making money on on eBay, you kind of start from the best stuff and go down. And some of that stuff is kind of just garage sale, flea market stuff. Or I bought for two to four bucks, and it's worth 10, but selling on eBay after messing and listing it. So this is kind of a good, re good way to get rid of some of the old stuff, get some of my money back and still make money. Um, just give myself a little bit more room because some of the stuff is kind of heavy, but it's not antique. And so, and it's not collectibles, and that's what I need to sell my malls. But anyway, my new antique booth, I've had it open for 10 days, and I've already uh, made my rent and do almost doubled it. And I put it in like 17 or 18 bucks and got 160, 180 out of it. So um, that's gone good already. And um, I've even got more stuff to put in it. I might shut down the other one in Ozark because I have to drive all the way there. But. Um, I'll still have more inventory that way, but uh, ground on Led Zeppelin over the hills and far away. <laughs>